I'm Mike, and welcome to, well, my dad's workshop. So, I need to do a bit of work, and the blade has gone into the bandsaw. So, this week, I'm going to show you how to change the blade in a bandsaw. So let's roll the intro! something with a big scary blade in it make sure it's plugged out I have this plugged out I also have the emergency stop put in to make sure <coughs> so on most bandsaws this is quite a large one you're going to have two doors the top door to open by turning this and a rear door same general idea so you'll have two wheels that the bandsaw blade right in first thing you want to do is open the tension arm. So the back of most bandsaws you're going to have this, which is your tensioning arm. So this holds the top wheel up to tension the blade. So to get the blade off, you'll need to open that all the way and that will loosen the blade at the front. And we'll have to close it then and put the new blade on. So you can see now that blade is floppy and it'll come off. Next thing then is there's generally a gate here to line up with the slot in the top to get the blade out. Then we're going to start very carefully taking this blade out. Even though the bandsaw blade is blunt, be very careful because they will still catch you. Okay, so that's the blade out. Now it's time to wrap her up. So for this next part, you definitely want to wear gloves. So I have my foot on it on the bottom, with the teeth facing away, and it's like this, face up. And I'm up, sorry. And I turn it towards yourself while it's pushing down. And you do a full rotation, and you end up the bandsaw blade like that and get tied up. So now let's fit the new one. So now we have our new blade. And what I like to do is just very carefully get it as wide as I can wearing my gloves and then just away from myself like that. Just turn it. You don't want to let it loose straight away. It'll fly off cut into your hand. We're just going to repeat the process and we'll back in through all the slots over the time. So what you want to watch for here, or what you want to look for, is you want to have the blade centered on these rubber wheels. You also need to make sure it's fed your guides above and below the table. So as you can see here, on this particular one, we have these two split guides here to go either side of the blade, and then this stop. So they want to be positioned in between that. We have a similar arrangement on the bottom. So those guides help the bandsaw blade stay straight and track. Now this happens to be adjusted, but you always want to adjust those that when the bandsaw is running, they're not turning. So just the thickness of a piece of paper or a piece of card between that and the blade, particularly if you're using a blade of a different thickness. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back over here and then we're going to re-engage our tensioner, pulling it all the way home. So you can see there, inside the bandsaw, 
it has an indication of what tension it needs to be for what thickness. You always want to make sure to match those two. I'm replacing one for one here so the tension is correct, but keep an eye on that. To adjust the tension, you screw in or screw out the other knob that you see there below the tensioner. And again, once you have it to tension, keep it where it says it should be. So the next thing I'll do then is I'll rotate the top wheel a few times just to make sure that it's tracking correctly, that the bandsaw blade is not coming off. If it was, there's an adjuster at the back, check your manual. That affects the tilt of this, make sure everything is running nice and smooth. So right now everything is smooth. So we're going to just close our ring back up. I'll isolate it and I'll switch it on very quickly just to make sure that everything is okay. Now you're ready to get back to work. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And absolutely do. Try this at home. Of course, I'm not going to go without showing you work. What monster do you think I am?